By growing a wildlife-friendly garden and creating native habitat, you create an oasis for wildlife, plants, and yourself. Your yard and plant choices will reflect the ecosystem you live in and may provide habitat for insects, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals, as well as a variety of plants. A wildlife-friendly garden can be a warm, inviting space. A connection with nature involves the senses, where you experience the wonderful sounds, smells, sights, and touch of nature. Building a beautiful outdoor space you can enjoy relaxing in, and one that meets the needs of wildlife. In this video, we will discuss some general needs for many backyard species. In future videos, I will do some more specific garden plans. Your yard is going to reflect where you live and support native plants and animals. This southwest garden reflects the natural landscape with things like rocks that provide shelter during the day from the hot sun. Developing a wildlife habitat means using more low-maintenance perennials. That means less mowing and a nice bench to sit on and enjoy the wildlife. Your backyard becomes a habitat, a place where an animal finds food, water, shelter from the weather, predators, and a space to live under different conditions. Since your yard is part of the larger ecosystem, it can provide a habitat for wildlife in your area. When creating your habitat, you need to think about three things, food, water, and shelter. Do some research and learn about the species that live in your location. What do they eat? Where do they need to seek shelter? And so on. Plants and animals have evolved together. That's why it's so important to provide native plants. They provide food in the form of seeds, leaves, and bark that the animals in your ecosystem need to survive. None of us can survive without water. Have a source of water that is elevated for birds, a small shallow dish for butterflies and bees and toads, and a larger dog dish size for mammals. Don't leave out buckets of water as smaller animals can drown in them, but a shallow rubber feed bucket is easy to clean and can provide water for larger mammals. Shelter. Animals need shelter to escape the weather, hide from a predator, or simply relax. Who doesn't love a cozy spot to nap? A shelter may be in the form of a bush, brush pile, stone pile, or some nice mulch. If you have the room, a brush pile provides shelter for small mammals, birds, and lizards. Whenever you are pruning or cleaning up after a storm, place the trimmings and broken branches in a pile for wildlife. We want our animal friends to live a natural life, and that means reproduction. Provide places where they can nest and have babies. Bird houses and bushes, an area for tall grass for rabbits and field birds, and milkweed for butterflies are just a few examples. This garden area has some ground cover, a rotting tree stump, rocks, and native plants to shelter many species in a southwest location. Bushes like this service berry provide fruit for many species, including this catbird. Bird feeders often help more than the birds, so be open to that. You can check out my video on choosing a bird feeder, which I will link in the description. Remember, bird feeders should be near bushes or small trees, so the birds have a natural safe space to fly to nearby if a predator comes in the area. Milkweed makes a wonderful tall border plant that will fit into a yard and is food and shelter for many butterfly species. 
Start by researching what native plants and animals live in your area. Let me know in the comments what specific gardens you might want to create, such as butterfly, bird, or amphibian habitats. Thanks for watching and have a sunny day.